Hi, my name is Catherine Penman. I use she, her pronouns and I'm a queer dyslexic writer. Some of my passions include literature, sports of all kinds, mainly skateboarding and activism. In 2018, I used all of these passions to apply for a Fulbright scholarship. When I was awarded it, I used this to go to my dream school, New York University, where I studied a master's in experimental humanities, which focused on creative writing and activism. For me, being awarded a Fulbright scholarship meant everything. But I think in my particular case, it demonstrated a real investment in unconventional educational pursuits. For instance, as a dyslexic writer, I wrote projects a little bit differently. I completed my first novel at NYU, which I'm working to get published now. But I wrote this novel really skateboarding around the city, listening to audiobooks, audio files, and then reworking the sentences that way. And then because of this, the BBC asked to do a short documentary on me. The film gained over a million views online and was shown in schools in the UK and abroad. And I think this really demonstrated to other dyslexics that they too can excel in literature and education. And that meant so much to me. The Fulbright experience has shaped my life in so many ways. I think firstly, I was able to connect to some of the most dynamic, creative thinkers in the world right here in New York City. And secondly, I got to expand my skate community, which was super cool. For instance, I held a clinic with Doyen Skateboards, a Scotland-founded skateboard brand in New York, and we were able to support like women, queer people, and other marginalized individuals in the skateboard community. So that was really, really awesome experience for me to be a part of. And then after that, I even got a job, now working and living in New York. I write and produce creative content for Women in Soccer, which is a women-led network that supports all marginalized individuals that want to excel in the sports industry. I think educational exchange is critical to tackling some of the global issues that are affecting us all. I think no one classroom setting or research project could ever be enough to give you a complete holistic human experience. I think what the Fulbright Exchange has done for me is always pushed me to seek diverse perspectives and diverse approaches to an issue. I mean, now living in New York, it's a melting pot. So every day of my life, I'm surrounded by people from all over the globe and that for me has been truly life-changing.